about the etiquette of the wedding night. Um, the sunnah that we have is that when you marry a woman, the sunnah is that you put your hand over her forehead and you say, Bismillah, O oh Allah, I ask you from whatever good she is created on and I ask you her goodness and I seek refuge in you from any evil she was created on and I seek for, uh, refuge in you from her evil. So this is the first thing you do because this initiates a happy life when you ask Allah Azza wa to bless your wife for you and to uh, uh, protect you from any evil that she has. And also some scholars say that among the etiquettes, not only on the wedding night but throughout the whole night that you pray two rak'ahs with your wife. And this is a sunnah rarely you would find uh, spouses doing. So the sunnah is that every single night you wake your wife up or she wakes you up and you pray two rak'ah together in congregation and Allah would register you among the dhakirin Allah kathiran with dhakirat, those who remember Allah a lot and plenty, males and females. So this is what you should try your level best to uh, uh, do. As for the intercourse, then the, there is a dua where the Prophet says, Asam, whoever says before having intimacy with his wife, Bismillah, Allahumma jannibna shaytan, wa jannib shaytan ma razaqtana, Bismillah in the name of Allah, O oh Allah, protect us from Satan and protect what you have blessed us from Satan as well. So uh, uh, if you say this, then Allah Azza wa Jal would grant you a son, uh, inshallah, or an offspring of yours that uh, the shaitan would not be able to seduce or lure uh, uh, with the grace of Allah Azza wa Jal. And there are uh, other things, but I believe that this, inshallah, uh, suffices. And he's asking that if I'm having ghusl 